quick video on stress testing. Or it's called a treadmill test. And what you're looking for on a treadmill test is changes in the EKG and specific or ECG. Specifically, what you're looking for is changes in what's called the ST segments. We'll get to that in a second, but what I want to do first is describe what's going on. So I'm going to pretend that this is a normal cell. And I, I guess if it was a cardiac cell, it would be columnar. I'm going to put a blood vessel running near here. And in this normal cell, we would have potassium inside the cell. We would have calcium outside the cell. And we would have sodium outside the cell. And if you haven't watched my little video on action potentials. So if you don't remember action potentials real well, you might want to jump back to that first because I'm just going to go ahead and draw two types of action potentials that occur in the heart. One of them, if I can draw my crude little heart, one of them occurs right here in what's called the autorhythmic zone. And it looks, I'm going to So an action potential is a change in voltage over time. And the reason I dotted that in is because I want to color code this back and I want to talk about this. that this is sodium entering the cell. This part of the action potential so is sodium entering the cell. This part is calcium entering the cell. And this part here is potassium leaving the cell to bring our voltage back down negative. If you have no idea what I'm talking about there, then you might want to watch the video on action potentials. The other type of cell is basically everything else. I'm going to color this in kind of yellowish. So what I mean now is the muscle cell. And this is every cell except for the algorithm cell. And its action potential is something like that. And this action potential, sodium is responsible for this right here. Calcium would be entering the cell right here. Potassium would also be moving at the same time that calcium is moving. And it's going to stay open for a little bit longer. So I'm not drawing the specific voltages responsible for each ion. I'm just pointing out where they have an effect on the action potential. Again, this is voltage versus time. What I want to point out is if we came back over here and we said, this right here is potassium leaving, leaving the cell. So it's this potassium wanting to leave the cell. And it's a positive ion leaving inside of the cell, so it's going to make the inside of the cell more negative. Same thing here, this is potassium leaving. The purpose of a treadmill test is to make the heart contract and see if this potassium gets flushed out. This potassium, when it leaves, it needs to be cleaned up by the circulatory system. Otherwise, what's going to happen is potassium will just get stuck here. So if we block this, then potassium just gets stuck here. And so when it comes time for potassium to leave and bring our voltage back down, the potassium doesn't want to leave. There's potassium that needs to leave to bring our voltage down, but this potassium did not get washed out. It's still hanging around. So this potassium says, I'm not leaving. There's already potassium out there. Everything in here is dependent on diffusion. 
ions wanting to go where there aren't other ions. So if there's already a lot of potassium ions out here, these potassium ions don't want to leave. And what that's going to do over here, I'll draw it just on this part, is it's going to slow this rate of what's called repolarization. It's called repolarization because we're going back to a polarized state. We're making the cell more negative. And we don't really care so much about what's going on in the autorhythmic cell. We care about this right here. Because if there's excess potassium, it's going, going to slow the repolarization in the muscle cell. Now why does that matter? Because if we take an EKG, there's two reasons this matters. If we take an EKG, it's going to cause ST abnormalities. It can also cause long 